these people that I refer to as the subsection of the left, I refer to as the regressive left, have good intentions. I recognize that. I also recognize that the road to hell is paved with good intentions. And I think it's important to understand that I am a Muslim, I'm born and raised a Muslim, and every single grievance that uh, my fellow well-intentioned liberals are worried about that a Muslim may have, I have experienced. They're worried about racism. I've had neo-Nazis come at me with hammers and knives and machetes. I've had to watch friends stab before my eyes. Friends had hammers put to their heads. I've, you know, I've seen all of this growing up. I've witnessed this and I've experienced it. They're worried about the war and terror. Well, I've been a victim of the war and terror. I've witnessed torture in an Egyptian jail. I've been uh, in interned without charge and eventually I've been a prisoner of conscience adopted by Amnesty International. They're worried about profiling of airports. At airports, I've had my DNA taken from me forcibly without my consent. I've had my right to silence taken from me under British war and terror laws. Everything they're worried about, I've had happen to me. And I say this, therefore, from a place uh, that is concerned about these civil liberties issues for Muslims because I've suffered them myself. And what I say to these well-intentioned regressive leftists is that your good intentions in not having this conversation, not differentiating Islamism, Islamist extremism, the ideology, briefly summarized as the desire to in enforce a version of Islam over society, your intentions in not isolating Islamist extremism from the religion of Islam are making the problem worse, not better. It's what I refer to as the Voldemort effect. You know, we know in Harry Potter, you know, um, there were people who, who uh, the Voldemort is a bad guy, the evil character in Harry Potter. The ingenious device that J.K. Rowling as an author came up with in, in those books was that the people were so petrified of this evil character that two things happened. One, they, they couldn't even name Voldemort. They had to refer to Voldemort as he who must not be named. And then the second thing was that he who must not be named didn't even exist. So they couldn't name the thing they didn't even recognize existed because that's how scared they were. Now, of course, what happened as a result is this denial of the problem only increased the fear and increased the hysteria around this character Voldemort because he became a legend, a myth, and an and all-powerful myth that everyone was petrified of. And that's what happens when we refuse to name Islamist extremism. We make the problem worse. Two particular problems happen in refusing to name Islamist extremism. One is that the right wing out there, those who are not the right wing, but the faction again within the right wing, those who are the anti-Muslim bigots, in not naming Islamist extremism, we leave the door open for the anti-Muslim and racist crowd to hijack this debate and say, yes, the problem is every single Muslim. So we're not providing a lexicon that, that we're able to use to differentiate every single Muslim from Islamist extremism. The second problem is an internal problem. Within Muslim communities, we're depriving, crucially, those liberal reforming voices from having the ability to have those debates within their own communities and say, yes, I'm a Muslim too, so don't monopolize my religion. You're an Islamist, you're claiming to have the correct version of my religion and you want to enforce it over me. I reject Islamism and I'm not going to reject the religion of Islam itself. So they're able to have that reform discourse within uh, the communities. And so I think that's why it's, despite these good intentions, it's making the problem worse to deny it. The Voldemort effect is increasing the hysteria. It's one of the things I'm being very critical as a liberal about President Obama's policy in that he has succumbed to the Voldemort effect and he's not, he's up until now unable to name the Islamist ideology. Mm -hmm.